Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Factorio. We got our lasers unlocked and I have set up a bit of defense for with lasers just where it's uh, where we're getting hit a little bit hard. So out here somewhere uh, I put in a few and uh, just a few lasers here and there and also up here I put in some lasers uh, to help with the defense up here and also down here i put in a few not enough it looks like so yeah we are a little bit better off uh, defensively so that's nice and today we are going to speed up our uh, research a bit i have handcrafted a few um, labs so that we can get our research going a bit faster Move those, we don't need them. So, what we're going to do is we are going to set up another row of labs here. And I have them in here somewhere. Uh, there we go. And I think... Hmm, let's do like this. So basically we're doubling our research we need some power poles I think yeah Let's see can I handcraft some power poles one Ooh. okay uh, what am I missing copper plate Okay, let's go grab some copper plate. There we go. And that's a lot better. Okay. So, what I think I want to do is... I think I want to move this down one. Yeah. Pick up all this stuff. We'll just stick it in manually. So I want to move this down one. Like so. And come up here. And then I want a splitter. There. And... Oops. Get this going over here. And then I'll put... Another splitter in this here to underground from there to there. And then we'll split this out and get up there. All right. So now all we need is power. And what we could do is just stick Power pole in there. Power pole in there. 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 And there. And then we actually don't need these ones. And of course we need to hook it up so that it actually gets power. That's that helps. Let's stick some lights in here. There we go. So we have effectively just doubled our research. So that's nice. It's very nice indeed. All right. Next thing I want to do is because if we look at uh, technology, I want to get to the portable fusion reactors. I really, really want those. So, we're going to work towards unlocking that. So, once we're done with the low density structures, we'll do the uh, utility science pack and then we will set up the utility science pack and get portable fusion reactors, reactors so we can get ourselves a nice suit. Uh, 
next, after that, I want to get the personal robo part, uh, Mark II, I think, so that we can start really taking advantage of robots. Let's just see, what do we need to make some... Uh, where are they? There. Robo ports. We basically just need some steel, which we don't have a whole lot of. Them. So, hmm. We are very, very low on steel because we're producing our uh, laser turrets. Very, very low on steel indeed. So maybe we should set up some more steel production. We have some steel here that we can grab. Allows us to make one. Uh, need some uh, advanced electronic circuits, was it? Yeah. Grab some of those. And make one more robo port. Because we, uh, we basically have enough robots now, right? Right. So we might as well start setting up a bit of a robo port network. Some steel again. This is not good. Make those two. And uh, let's put our robo ports on the hotbar. Let's see, the logistics area is the orange area and the construction area is the green one. So we want our logistics area here on the bus to be connected, right? So let's build one there. Yes, it'll reach here. Hopefully. And then we will run out this way. That'll reach. And I think I want to plunk one down up here where in our And I really would like it to be right there. Like so. All right, let's give him some power. That one has. This one doesn't. does now and this one this one doesn't does now and let's just grab some uh, some robots let's just grab three stacks of those and three stacks of those for now and stick them all in there Right. So what we need to do is make our we need to make a bunch of passive provider chests. So let's grab some red circuits and some green circuits and some steel which we don't have a whole hell of a lot of. There we go. And now we can make some passive provider checks and some storage chests as well. All right. This is something that we're going to automate as well. So, the passive providers.
and we will stick those in all over the place here. Okay, that's how it's done. And that's done. Oh, there's one more there. And that's done. Okay. Oh, there. Anywhere else? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Very good. So that means that we can, let's just do a quick test and say like that. And there come the robots. Grab some stuff and pull it. Excellent. So uh, let's put down some storage chests, we'll put them down here. Like so. Okay. So in order to automate RoboPorts, we need steel. So let's go and uh, get some more steel made. I want to use steel furnaces. More steel needed. I'm gonna need a lot of them. Let's grab this stuff. And we can make 10 right now, but that's because we need stone brick, which we can get right here. And now we can make 19 more. 17 more. All right, that'll do for now. Let's go. Oh, there's our low density structures. So let's do utility science crack. And let's go and set up some more steel production. We most decidedly need it. We need to upgrade that belt to, to red belt as well. Not so necessary right now with uh, the amounts of production that we have, but it will be. It will be. So... Let's see, what we could start by doing is just upgrade all of this. That'll basically double the speed with which we're making our stuff. And let's see, I don't have enough to upgrade everything, unfortunately. I think. We'll give that a second, and while that does that, we can upgrade this. Let's just upgrade it as far as here, at least. We'll need to make some more furnaces, so... Let's upgrade it some more. Oops. And unfortunately we don't have full coverage because if we did we could have used our upgrade planner I think. And just been uh, button the box to do it. So that's upgraded. Let's go back and uh, let's grab some steel and some 
well, not stone. I want stone brick. And make some more. Okay. So this should help our steel production quite a bit. All right, the utility science pack is done. Very good. We don't have it yet, so we can't research these things, unfortunately. So what we could do is research. Um, I suppose we could research speed module threes. Logistics 3, quite nice, nuclear power. Let's research nuclear power. We're going to need that. Are they there? Okay. That ha alone has increased our production quite a bit. Mm. I think I wanna be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20, we'll do, for now at least, and, oh, I only need regular, okay, output is that way, then we need the, coal to come up and we need to feed them some coal and then we need power poles which I suppose I could just do like this quite like that excellent how many do we have left of these nine some here and make sure we get the last four that we need as well oops that's not what I wanted to make so I do think I want to use electric furnaces eventually uh, save a bit on the coal no it isn't really that necessary to save on the coal to be honest There we go. And we have increased our steel production by quite a bit, which we also needed to do. There we go. Let's see, we have nowhere near enough iron coming up, it seems like. Do we not have all of this upgraded? Doesn't look like it. This yellow belt. There we go. That should help. This is red belt. Good, good. Stick some of this stuff in here. Ah. There. Okay, so that should help some with our steel production. We will need to get more going. But this is a, a start at least. So, very good. 
so we got a bit of a RoboPort network set up, uh, not uh, the big awesome one that we want, but uh, we will eventually get that as well. And uh, we also got a bit of a increase in our steel production, so that's good. But uh, that is all we have time for today, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I'll see you next time.